Hello again, everybody. My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training and bringing you another everyday office video. In today's video, I want to help you to understand how to nest functions together. And today we're going to do that with two functions called trim and proper. So to begin with, let's look at the problem we face. Uh, as you can see here, Lawrence J. Crawford is all caps, Patricia Adams has uh, some weird capitalization, and Jacqueline George has a space before the G in George. So this is very sloppy um, formatting all across the board. And most people, unfortunately, when faced with this problem, just start retyping things, which is just not the right answer at all. Now, there are two functions I want to introduce you to if you haven't already seen them. The first is called trim. If you go to cell B3 right here next to Lawrence J. Crawford, go up to the Formulas tab at the top of the screen, and you look in the text drop-down menu, the trim function here takes exactly one value. It takes a text value. And what it does is it removes everything that is not a single space between words. So that means that if I go between Crawford and Lawrence and I hit the spacebar a couple of extra times, or between Harris and Samantha, or between the L and the R in L.R. Christensen, this is a problem. But it's also a problem when there's a space before the G in George for Jacqueline George's name. So in cell B3, I can go to the text drop-down menu, choose Trim, and take in Lawrence J. Crawford. And when I click OK, you can see here the difference. It's taken out all but the single space between the comma and the L. And when I autofill this down, it will also take off things like the space before the G in George or the extra spacing between the L and the R in L.R. Christensen. But the other problem that's here is still here, which is that the capitalization is all over the map. So for that, if I go to cell C3, on the text drop-down menu, there's a function called proper. There are also functions called upper and lower that are partners to this. Proper, you can kind of figure what this does, it capitalizes the words in a proper text format, which is the first letter of every new word is capitalized, the rest of them are lowercase. So when I use the proper function, and I point it at Lawrence J. Crawford right here, and I click OK. You can see the C, the L, and the J are all capitalized. And if I autofill down, I have this beautiful capitalization all the way down. Which, of course, now with two steps has taken me from really ugly text content to stripped down and proper text content. But the problem is that I usually like to stay away from taking two steps when I could take one step. This is where um, nesting two functions together comes into play. Why couldn't we have the trim function and the proper function working at the same time in the same cell? Let's see if we can make that happen. Over here in cell D3, I'm going to go to the Formulas tab, use the text drop-down menu, and use trim, just like we did a moment ago. But this time, instead of just typing in that I want to trim what's in cell A3, let's say that we want to make what's in cell A3 also proper capitalization. So we type the word proper into this text box right here, and we open the parentheses. Now into this, I can choose to put cell A3 and close the parentheses. And you can see that in this, it tells you that it by taking the trim function and nesting the proper function inside of the trim function, you're going to do both of those at the same time, reducing the capitalization and reducing the spacing. When I click OK, you can see there that I get that same result that I did through two steps previously, but now it only takes one by taking proper and putting it inside of the arguments for the trim function. Now one last exercise here. Most of the time when I get to this point right here, I'm going to copy the text that I really like here. 
go over here to cell A3 and not just paste over cell A3. Because what's important to remember here is in cell D3 is not the letters Lawrence J. Crawford. It's in fact a function that nests the trim and the proper function together. So instead, I'm going to go to the Home tab up here at the top of the screen, use the Paste drop-down menu, and actually paste the value of what's being produced there, not the functions. It's an important distinction. I can choose to paste the formulas that are there, but you can see there that if I paste the formulas, I'll get a lot of ref error messages. Instead, I'll go here under Paste Values, and what I see in the end result is that it's just literally the text Crawford, Lawrence J. So in this exercise, we took the trim function and the proper function. We combined them together into a nested function using trim and proper together. And then finally, using paste special, we were able to get what's in cell A3 to be literally the text that we want it to be instead of that ugly version of itself previously.